Good morning. Great to see you all here. We've all been hearing a lot about transition. Digital transition, economic transition, organizational transition. We hear the word transition all the time, and it's often explained as if it were the solution to all our problems, almost like a salvation. But what does it really mean to transition? I wonder how many of you here feel like you know where you want to go. If you do, you're lucky, because personally, I often feel lost and confused. Transition means moving from point A to B. But where is point B? What is it? Maybe we're lost in transition. Maybe we're all going in different directions. Or maybe we're just stuck between things that are moving way too fast and others too slow. In any cases, if this transition exists, we cannot make it on our own. That's why we are very happy to have you here together today at our third Wisher Fest. And we really want to thank everyone that made this event possible, especially our main partners, La Maif, SNCF, Castorama, and all our partners that you can see here around the circus in the boxes and go meet and talk to. We are very proud to be working with these companies that help us explore and interrogate the different collaborative models across industries. So when we organized the first WeShare Fest two years ago, the collaborative economy was just being born. And so everyone in the room was a strong believer in the concept and there was a real atmosphere of enthusiasm. But so now, in the beginning, the, all, the game, the aim, was to spread the word. But so now, two years later, thanks to many people that are here in the room, we must say that the collaborative economy has become quite established. But so, there's still a long way to go, though. Because now that the collaborative economy has this mainstream attention, we think it's very important to critically reflect about the real value that these models can provide for society. So what really excites me about being here today is not seeing the number of everyone here, but the diversity of all the people in the room. Because at WeShare, it's always been important for us to bring together people from diverse backgrounds. Entrepreneurs, companies, public officials, activists. We always thought it was important to enable these different groups to communicate and work together to achieve real change. But it's been quite challenging. And I must say, I feel like today, we're really bringing together a very balanced group of people from all these different areas. But so, what is it that enables us to all be here together? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like we don't only just have many different types of people in the room, but we're also becoming more comfortable with taking on many different roles, and the lines may be blurring between hackers, activists, businessmen. The lines are blurring. But so, let's look at, even though we all come from these different backgrounds, what do we have in common? I think we all feel that a change is happening, and we're ready to embrace it. That's why it's our responsibility to create a destination we all want to arrive at and a society we want to live in. Let's not be spectators of our future, but shape it together. Because when you have people from all walks of life advocating for the same issue, this is when real transformation in organization, businesses and societies really happens. But to achieve this, we need to openly engage with each other, be empathetic, listen to each other, especially to those that you don't agree with. That's what makes real collaboration possible. So we designed WeShareFest with this in mind, an open space for interaction, which is for you to create and contribute to. And so, what we've done is we sourced our program from over 250 contributions from our community and beyond. 
And this year, we've defined 12 critical key questions, which you can see here, that we think we need to address in the next three days. So to harness the collective intelligence of our community, we built a team of 20 people, experts from our community, that have curated and designed program tracts on these subjects to make the most possible and interesting tracks. And so you can find more details about these in um, the poster program that you can get at the entrance, uh, where you also see many other um, advice and information on how to really experience in the best possible way from this event. Now we know that there's a lot of content. That is a very conscious decision we made because it is all this, these diverse subjects and different topics that really enable us to bring together all of you from different backgrounds. I know you're gonna be overwhelmed, but that's fine, don't worry about it. My advice to you is to just relax, see what sessions you stumble into, let serendipity happen, and I promise you'll be surprised and you'll have a great time. Oh, and if you feel really lost, you can still go outside on the playground, it's the green area, and check our big lost sign that we have there and see what happens. This sign is actually a part of our experience program, a part of the program we design, including yoga sessions, meditation, film screaming, and even acting and singing. Because we truly believe that the first step towards the collaborative cultures starts with personal and ourselves as individuals. As Asma was just explaining, yes. We have a special venue that's especially for all experience sessions this year, the Floating Fest. Yes, it's our experience space that we can check just outside the program. So please feel free to go on the boat and experience these different sessions and go on the terrace, play the piano brought by La SNCF, go have a crepe with La Maif and chill out. And you can also go and try improve your craftsman skills with Castorama that launched actually his wiki as last year's fest and you can check this here. You may have also noticed that you didn't receive a paper program. Now that's because this year for the first time we're putting in place a new concept called a zero waste event. Our aim with that is to create awareness <laughs> for the environmental impacts of event organization and we'd like to set a precedent internationally for a sustainable conference organization. Now this is just a first step but uh, we're counting on all of you to help us achieve this goal. But don't worry, we do have alternatives to paper program. It's technology and people. You can check our program on our web app SCED that is displayed here. And you can, yeah, here. Um, but we will, as uh, the Wi-Fi here is a common, we would gladly ask all the people that have access to 4G to, go, to use their phones so everyone can enjoy here our internet connection. You have also the program displayed in each room. And you, and you also need to go to talk to people and meet people in real life because this is our important, especially those wearing coral t-shirts. All these people in pink are our amazing team and we really, really want to thank them for making this even possible. Thank you guys. So now it's your turn to get lost. As the WeShareFest community, now you should go out, experiment, and explore this great venue for the next three days.